you know, I need to replace the wire. I want to show you how to put an end on it. Now, I don't know how long this wire has been laying around. So I'm just going to cut back a few inches from the end and then squeeze it and make it round again. At least somewhat round. Now, I'm going to cut the wire all the way to the center conductor without cutting the center conductor. You kind of get used to it after a while, but if you twist it, pull it off, there it is. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's, right, where are you? There you are. It's nice, bright, and shiny. Now, I'll make a second cut about a quarter inch that just goes through the rubber jacket to the shield. Do not want to cut the shield. Pull that off. Now this is really good cable. It's got a very thick shield. You peel this back. It's got a foil, solid foil surrounding the white foam. So now we just slide the F connector on. This is a very snug fitting connector. What you want to do is look inside and see where the white center foam is. That should be flush with the metal. So I've got it a little bit high. I'm going to pull it off, trim it back just a smidgen. Another problem people will do is, is this foil could short out to the center conductor. And if you do that, you're not going to get any signal through it. And sometimes these little wires on the shield will also stick out. So now I have the white center is flush with the metal. I have no shield sticking out. Take the crimpers. Crimp it good and tight. And there it is. Oops, there it is. Crimp. It's got an octagonal crimp to it. Now this center, I'm going to cut it off. I like it to stick out just a little bit beyond the connector. I know a lot of people will cut it flush, but then if you accidentally bend this center pin over, it could short out and again, you might not get any signal through it. So. We want this to stay in the center. That's your center conductor. Outside is shield. That goes to ground. And you should have a uh, good connection there. It's not going to come off. 